about LeBron James practicing keto for a period of time and other prominent athletes pr practicing keto. Now these are people who their li livelihood is based on their physical, on their athletic ability, on their athletic ability, their muscles, their ability to do the things that they do. You think that these people, that's what they do for a living. They're going to be doing something. Are going to run the risk. Right. I can't. Of I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this keto thing, and I'm going to yeah. get super skinny and lose all my muscles. So I can't. You know, I don't think so. So no. it's, it's kind of like. It's just you, common sense. When you read some of this stuff, it's like seriously. You're really reaching. But, but the problem is, but the problem is this, and I said this, and I got to be careful when I say this, is a lot of the news we get today is junk. I'm sorry, it's junk. No matter what your source is, you can yeah. get junk news from CNN. You, you a can lot get of the, junk news from your local news. A lot of the stuff we read today and a lot of this stuff, it's just junk. And if you if you look at it, and, and I don't know where that or how it started, it's just we just read a little. We lot. live in a sensationalized we live, society. Yeah, we live in a. It's just a lot of junk. Even when you go to, so we had to download Apple News in order to access Pop Sugar. I had taken it off of my devices because, again, every time I look at the news, to me it feels like it's the same stuff all the time. It's the same bad news or something new, but it's still the same sensational right. stuff. And when I put this back on my on my device, it's like, wow, there is, yeah, there's some stuff that maybe it's is pertinent. pertinent. But, but then as I keep going into it, there's just <laughs> a lot of junk. I mean, because now we're pulling stuff from everywhere, from all over the internet. I mean, we're just pulling stuff just from dumb, everywhere. And it's, and, dumb stuff. and it's just a lot of junk. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my commentary on. So our last numbers. point is disordered eating. So okay. the experts feel like the ketogenic diet could bring on disordered eating. And for their point of view, they are saying that people who practice the ketogenic lifestyle are cutting out an entire food group. Yeah. And maybe to their mind, that's what it seems like. But we have not given up carbs in our lifestyle, in no, our ketogenic lifestyle. We are still eating carbohydrates, people. Yeah. We still have carbs every day. Yeah, that's true. We do. We're eating vegetables. We're eating small amounts of carbs in dairy, in nuts, some of the other foods and that we ex, enjoy. Yeah, some of the carbs that we're having now, we still have to watch out that we don't have too many exactly. of them. Exactly. You know, so if you mentioned not, nuts, we have yeah. to be careful that we don't have too many Almond of them. Almond flour, you know, other yeah. things that have a, a great deal of fiber, but is still a carbohydrate.